and welcome. Neil S here from Tax TV. You've got Andy and Ryan uh, you know, to join me. Excuse my voice, still a bit croaky and that from last night, but I'm not, <laughs> you know, in a good cause. So you've just been on about it off air, uh, Ryan. What can you say about that night? Um it was a mixture of all emotions, it were goals in it, you know, under lights, under cameras. Um I mean First off, were you have any ch major changes for you in in lineup, Ryan? We uh, we changes what were made for me personally. I thought apart from call for what is it were roughly about the same. Ah, yeah, wait, well, well, yeah, yeah. I, I think it, I think it was the right decision as well. I think Waters is going to be more of an impact player. Um, I don't think Devancey's done out wrong to get to get dropped. So, I mean, he worked brilliant against Wickham, but he's been he's been performing really well for a long time. So, I didn't, I, I personally didn't think he deserved to get dropped and I'm glad to see him back in line up because I think we looked a lot better when he came on against, when he come on against uh, Wickham. Hmm. Um, so, good to, see, good to see him back in. It turned, turned out to be a great decision, didn't it, in the end, because he, cause he oh. got the first goal. So, hmm. not, not, a bad, not a bad call. I mean, coming to you, Andy, uh, <laughs> we're on about scoring goals and that like in exterior and stuff. Um, and just before we go on, I call into the shop because I always get bounce football programs and that for own games. Um, and as I'm paying for it, I just say someone shout me, and it would it end up being Julianne in back. Um, <laughs> she was really excited, she come husband and that. And she said, What you know, what are you going for score? I said, 2 1. She said, Well, she's talking to media people, and media people there, obviously, you know, your Sky Sports and all that, they were fancying us before a game. Uh, yeah. Just basically for his farm, I know that they've gone on a remarkable run, but with what we've been doing as a club, Barnsley, it's surprising. So it's nice getting noticed outside a uh, club as well. Um, yeah, Andy. So just going back to game, mate. I mean, first halves. I know Michael Duff always says he plays two games, doesn't he? he plays first half and then the reset, and then it's second half. It's another game. But in that first half, it was what we wanted. Uh, I pressed tempo. I don't think really let him settle, and two quick goals for us. Um, I think it might more than it nerves and probably threw them off the feet, mate. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was um, like a typical derby game, and it what you expect uh, with derbies. Um, I think sometimes it first half. Um, I don't think we held ball as much as I was hoping for, um, but I think that would do to us uh, pressing and. Trying not to let them play, um, which worked. And yeah, them two quick goals uh, made all the difference. Um, so, please, for from two, um, Cole and Norwood um, work the socks off, but they all did again, all the way through team. Um, and just so, just so proud of them. Um, any other season in the past, I think we would have buckled and uh, rolled over when they pulled it back to 2-2. Um, but yeah, we just kept on going and that's what we've been doing in it this season. Just believing uh, in a sense and yeah, thoroughly deserved it, um, I thought. And yeah, like I said to your fair, I never wanted to win a game as much uh, as that one yesterday. Um, it, it was just brilliant. It, I mean, where... Me and Maddie sits as well. Uh, we sit up um, in lower east um, part, um, right at back. So there's like then exact boxes, and there were yeah. some Wednesday fans in there. And when they scored first goal, um, I thought it was going to kick off. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, it, it quietened down when uh, <laughs> we, we must have heard a fourth inning. Uh, it's, good, it's good about that with them exact box because I think he, he would have got um, a cup of coffee poured over him uh, doing that. Um, you know, um, they think they are right doing that behind them screens and uh, that glass and whatnot. But yeah, that was well, that well after all of that. Um, but yeah, um, going off a bit, so we thoroughly deserved it. Um, and yeah, can't wait now for for next game. And I think that game that were called off against Ipswich, I know that we weren't too happy about it, but I think that might work in his favour now. Um, get 
that game on Tuesday out at where reset and come back fresh and push on. Yeah, good point. Yeah. So Andy's coming into it, table ladder chairs match scenario again because he's going into wrestling yeah. chair shots in executive box. So we'll move on from that quickly <laughs> before we get pulled up by WWE or AEW. Uh, but yeah, I get what you mean with that, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just going to Ryan. I mean, just going on what Andy was saying there is that never wants to win his game as much and, you know, yeah. a lot at stake and that. My personal opinion, and what your guys will come to this, I'll come to you first, Ryan, is that. To be fair, I don't think referee had that bad a game. The one thing I was a bit miffed about at times was the linesman in front of West Stand. Some decisions. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, one advice, you know, not just me, but quite a few. Some of the calls we were making were like questionable at best. And, and I'm not just being biased here. It was probably for both sides. But like throwing's game to, he was literally looking at referee to see which what what ref were going to award. Yeah. And at times I'm thinking he's going to do more score in a minute. Like, is he either left, right or right, left? But <laughs> I think for me, and I think what we all wanted as fans and Chef Wednesday fans is now, is a ref allowed game to flow, which he did, it, you know, as best as he could. Um, but I, feel, I thought I thought we've had a lot of worse referees, but I was pretty pleased with referee. I mean, what, what's your take on that, Ryan? I thought ref had a good game, to be fair. It's a big game. It would have, it would have, I mean, it would have, unbelievable atmosphere you know it's a big game to referee and i thought he did a good job i mean i don't know if you've seen highlights but on that on that last on last goal we break free and he's absolutely clattered him on touchline and then as he's played ball through he's come through that one of their defenders absolutely clattered waters and he goes to blow whistle does ref yeah and as soon as it goes through as soon as it goes through to kitchen arms are up he waves it play on it with a great bit of referee in that because he could have blown it he could have blown it there yeah. And he didn't let it go on and let you know let the kitchen go on and stroke it in. So I think I think ref had a good game. He didn't get his yellow. I mean, he only got his yellow card out when he actually really needed so on the you mm. know on the, on the on the pretty obvious ones. He probably let a couple go that he maybe shouldn't have done. But you know he was trying to keep game going, wasn't it? And it turned out to be a, a brilliant spectacle. But you're right, that line or worse. I mean, some of the decisions he made was shocking. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. he just. There was that one in second half when Luke Thomas got absolutely clattered down the corner flag. Absolutely clattered. And it's right, it were right in front of him. Mm. I don't know how he's not seen it. And it, you know, mm. I think all Ponty and let him know anyway, didn't they? And rest at West Ham, <laughs> giving him yeah. some problems. He looked, he looked like a lost little boy, didn't he? He looked terrified. Yeah. I think he were terrified well, to make it. Like, wrong decision, <laughs> one wrong decision. Yeah, I think he was terrified to make any more. So yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Definitely. Uh Andy, what we are taking on officiating, mate, uh, just following on from Ryan. Um, yeah, referee were brilliant because we won, won it. Uh, so, <laughs> what, what, what can I say? But yeah, now going back to linesman, uh, him on um, East End side, I don't think he had a, a brilliant game. Uh, I think mm. he missed uh, quite a few. Uh, but I thought referee in general, though, yeah, he did well. He did mm. all right. Um, Good. I, I, I just I just feel like I played full ninety minutes from last night. Me, I'm absolutely. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm I hoping Duff wanted to put my number up so he could take me off at one point. I, I'm still knackered. I think I think everybody you know well that night probably feel the same. <laughs> but all waking up for working about early hours in the morning, feel like you've been out on an all night bender. But it's not. It was just adrenaline all rushing through, wasn't it? You know, limbs all love it kind of place. But yeah, just going back to you, Ryan. I mean, we're getting to the second day right now. Uh, we, we kind of knew that Chef Wednesday were going to come out, you know, yeah. 23 game on beat and run. I mean, we haven't done it, back, you know, we haven't got there for now. It's hard work and graph for putting for fair play to them. Pleasing for us that we put a stop to it and we also did double on them again. Another bit of a bragging rights here. But in second day, substitutions made by Duff. I mean, again, Master Stroke done at right time, possibly. Uh, not going to question what he's doing at the minute, but yeah. He utilised his substitutes uh, well, Ryan. Yeah, he did. I think you know. I think when when they took Norwood off, I thought Norwood had a brilliant game again. You know, some 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 defending, just just his his great strike, but his effort yeah. he put in um, as well. But I think a lot of Pontian when they were saying, you know, they were saying, why is he not taking call off? But he put what? Yeah, you know, he, 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 said he, that he actually. What, but yeah, there's a lot said that. So whether that's whether that was the right decision or no to take off, but it was certainly the right decision to bring Waters on because he's gone and put that third in, hasn't he? He's been right place, right mm -hmm. time, he's stroked it and got the top corner, hasn't he? So, um, 
you know, you can't really fault his actual his decisions. I think it would probably right to take Adam Phillips off because because he's put that much effort in. I've noticed that with Phillips, he starts to get a bit leggy towards the end of the game. Mm. Um, and he'd got they were on a yellow anyway, so I think it would have got up. I think it would have a good time to bring Luke Thomas on for him. Um, and then obviously once we got that third goal, um, he brought cut. He brought um, Cannon off, didn't he? And put Kundi back into centre defence and pushed Liam Kitchen out wide, which I think would have again a bit more of a defensive decision. Trying all yeah. the but it turned out to be a great decision again because hey, off, it? he's pushing on. He's pushing on at left wing back. Is uh, Kitchen? And he's just and he's and he's put that fourth in. So. You can't really question anything he's doing at the minute, can you? You can't really no. question anything he's doing. And to see yeah. us lose a two-goal lead against a very good Sheffield Wednesday team, you know, they, they come out in that second half and they were dominant for, you know, up to getting that second goal, they really were. And and I really thought that they were going to go on and win it, to be fair, because they just looked they looked in control, yeah. didn't they? But as I've said before uh, uh, previously, the mentality it just shows throughout the squad that we did not fold. Mads captain brilliant last night. A complete man at match performance for me. You could mm-hmm. see him telling lads to calm down. He's trying to rile them up. He's trying to get them going, you know, and trying to get them back on side. And it was a proper captain's performance. And we, you know, we got we got back into his game and got back on top again. And we've got that, you know, we've got his third and fourth goal. It were it was amazing. Honestly, yeah. I, I can't fault anything from last night from from coaches to. Selection to, to players' effort, everything you know, it was it was superb. Yeah, good, good shot, that Ryan. Um, yeah, I mean, going going to your one day second day, I mean, so the shows made at the right time. And my son did say actually, uh, what Ryan just touched on there uh, on about bringing uh, you know Norwood off, and he says, oh, why until yeah. left? Caught uh, Norwood on, uh, he'll offer that bit bit more work for pressing and that, but and the day he's called it his gaffer. Uh, you know, he brought Tedich on, tried changing it up. Tedich, you know, you're going to get is going to run into channels and try and press down. One thing I didn't like with Tedich is that when he was going down, his on flow and his flailing arms. If he can get up and get back, you, you can't. You know, you're there are going to be on the yeah. tendency. You can't. It's not a free kick, so don't be falling behind. You're putting pressure on the team, and I, and after a bit, I think Duff like most gave him a rocket and said, and you saw it later on in, especially when uh, Watts came on. But yeah. yeah, I mean, Andy, what what were your take on substitutions, mate, in second half? I thought you got it absolutely spot on. Um, yeah, Man I think Norwood. Well. Yeah, uh, I think Norwood um, running sand into the ground. Um, couldn't fault him um, last night. Running for absolutely everything, um, closing down, getting their defence uh, a nightmare, and I think Cole worked hard as well. Um, mm-hmm. up from um, honestly do um, but yeah I think he got it spot on absolutely spot on and that is making a difference as well at the minute um, Tedich yeah completely different striker um, please for what is that he's got a goal because uh, that'll do him no end of uh, good that um, just confidence in it end of day and that's what strikers are expected to do um, but yeah to me um, Duff got it absolutely spot on, and I won't not surprise what we took off at and at what time as well. Um, but yeah, um, Norwood uh, for me run his blood to water. He honestly did. Yeah, my my, my take on it second half is that I thought yeah he, he got it. You know I'm not going to doubt. I'm not going to question man. I mean what he's doing at the minute is turning. Mm. You know uh, uh, water into wine at the minute is. It's got him playing as a unit. It's got him all believing. Pleasing for me, four different goal scorers as well. Nice to see that, you know, two strikers in first half, what is in Van Kitchen. Get what mm. rank were coming from there and all, uh, bringing Kundi on. I would, to be fair, I was a bit surprised about I'm thinking, you know, he's going to bring Laresh on for uh, Karen, but surely to put back a bit of right, you know, you're going to get it. What was pleasing for me, and I'll I'll come to Ryan, I'll come to you on this, is that six minutes at a time, we never gave up. We never gave up, and they were obviously going to attack and give the all. Uh, they don't want to lose an unbeaten record, and it, it played into our hands kind of bit. We hit him on break. What were pleasing for me, right to end the kitchen, especially kitchen, is that when he scored, the bench, what up, the substitute was coming in on, was celebrating it, what a togetherness. And I'm thinking, I haven't seen that 
at Oakwell for quite some time that we had players come running off and they're all celebrating. You know, they've been subbed off. Someone else has scored, but they're all in it together. And Ryan, for me, it's like an happy place that they're all wanting to play in the same, yeah. same direction, same togetherness, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, who won't, who won't want to play at Oakwell at the minute? Who won't, who, any professional footballer who won't want to play there with that atmosphere? Yeah. It's 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 brilliant. It's a it's such a change round. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's almost like like the way it is night and day, isn't it? And yeah. I, I noticed me saying with that fourth goal where they all come charging across. It's always <clears> I think that was more like a a relief thing, wasn't it? And it, all the hard work that they've been putting in, hmm. um, and it's it, it's sort of accumulated with that goal there where we realise that's it. We've done it now. They can't you know and they can't get back into this. We, we, we won't game, and it sort it felt to me like a. A massive relief of all, you know, them big group of fixtures that we've had with Derby, Portsmouth, um, Plymouth, and Wednesday, all at home. And we've won them all. We scored 14 yeah. goals doing it and all. So yeah, yeah. I think it were like, I think everybody felt it across ground. You could hear it in in the celebration. But also, you know, you can imagine it's for those players, we all effort that they put in day in, day out to, to, to prove that they're, you know, they are where we are, where we are, and we belong where we belong. Um, and, you know, the realisation that we'd won the game, that's why everybody just got involved and just flew over. Even if Stead were in there, wasn't he? Even if Stead had come off from goalkeeper and yeah. jumped into that. Yeah. Um, he jumped yeah. into the crowd. It was just, it, it was absolutely magic. It really was. Yeah. Andy, I mean, just going on from that, I mean, obviously we're on about fourth goal like now and limbs were all over in uh, together and so of you. And a bit bit like Remnant's uh, Hillsborough game, um, Never seen them leave as fast as very fire drills part two, I think. <laughs> oh, well, won't it this time round, mate? Yeah. Uh, and when he was one on one with Keeper Kitchen for that fourth goal, I thought, uh, you know, um, is he going to like rush, panic, knock it off at bar, knock it wide? But he took it like, I said on one of my videos early today on my channel, he took it like a seasoned pro. He yeah, just thought, yeah. kept his cool, slotted it past, and it was. It was a good finish, you know. Uh, he started keeping it to me. Confidence in that isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, let's not forget, he, you know, he's a, he's a centre half, isn't it? You know, he's, mm. uh, it, it was a good finish. And, uh, yeah, it, it was just brilliant. And, yeah, seeing them uh, go just in the hundreds and thousands uh, when they got fourth goal, it, it, oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. <laughs> So, so if we're a fire drill at Hillsborough, if we're a fire drill at Oakwell. Uh, <laughs> nobody would have armed, armed or injured by the way before people start commenting. If you if you were at a game, you'll understand what we're on about. If, if, if we're hitting Vex, it's pretty early to us, which we're pleading to see. Um, and what also we're pleading to see, uh, and we'll uh, come to Ryan on this, is that when final whistle went, they went round all stands and I was looking round and waffle. I don't think many anybody, but or if yeah. any, were leaving at all. It yeah. was. Till end until we went all the way around, and it, even when uh, players were going down the tunnel, I'm looking around me, and there's still plenty in stands. But I think it was like pinch me moment kind of thing, Ryan. Absolutely, yeah. My me, me, son kept saying to me, he said, What have I, what have we just witnessed? What have we just seen? <laughs> you know, like unbelievable. <laughs> we still sat when we go home, he said, I can't, I can't believe what I've just watched. Yeah, and I think it felt like that for everybody, and like you said, everybody stayed in because a lot of times, well, back in the game, sometimes you start seeing people go, don't you? And as soon as final whistle mm. goes, a lot of them go, but not, not. Not, not, not last night. Not last night. Talk, talk. Stayed, like, and we were singing it streets all the way back to the car. All the way back <laughs> to the car. It's, it's, it's yeah. still singing as we got back down into the town. So it were, yeah, oh, it just felt it felt really, really, really special. You know what I mean? And not just because we beat, which is because we beat Wednesday, but you know, I think it's just more just because of the run that we're on, the feel about the place, and how well we're playing. You know, I think it's all it's everything in it, and and, and yeah. it's like you know coming to fruition. All good. I mean, happy vibes, happy times, Andy. Uh, sort of saying there, uh, singing. You know what, what, what we witnessed, what we've seen, and yeah. the, the scary thing is, is what, what can we achieve? You know, it, it's in his own hands. What can we achieve? We, we can this squad at the moment go. For me, I just can see it improving all the time, mate. And you know, like what Ryan touched on earlier, a professional player. Or any team what's going to be coming to work well, it's going to be a fortress and atmosphere is going to be electric, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Um, I don't think we've got anybody else to fear, 
to be honest. All we can do is just play what's in front of us. Um, mm. Obviously, we need... Uh, Sounds like Michael to... Duffin. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I've been playing football manager with computers, so I'm probably <laughs> getting... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all we can do. Uh, let's hope uh, Plymouth can uh, slip up as well. Because um, mm. they'll be thinking the same thing, Plymouth. Um, but yeah, um, we're at mix and I can't see any reason why uh, we can't push on and really challenge um, for automatic. I honestly can't. Um, especially after uh, last night. It, I mean, it's not just fans that's uh, full of confidence, is it? It's all club, all players. Um and yeah, why not? Uh, like I said, let's not get too carried away. But on the other hand, I think we've got every right to. Um, like I said, all we can do is just uh, play our own games. Uh, and that's all we can do. Um, but I don't think we've got nobody to fear now. Honestly, I don't. I think we do. I think he'll keep players feet on ground and he'll, he'll give them reality yeah. checks. But I that I do believe in that because he's a very, uh, a very well thought and respected bloke. We in club, I think everybody at Barnes are connected behind the scenes to the fans and us. We all we can sense something different. We can sense uh, ride bit ride bit crested away while we can. And like I said, we'll, we'll we'll play who's ever in front of us. First half will be one game. Second half will be another. Um, and like I said, play football manager twenty twenty three. Let's go on scouting, Andy. Let's get some players signed up. Get get uh, Michael Duff's <laughs> email address for you later on. Uh, and uh, Ryan, uh, come to man at match. I mean, for me, there's a few people in it. But again, well, Captain Mads, right choice for you, or other others coming I, a very close second, mate. I, I I think so. I mean, do, I can't argue with it. To be fair, but no. I, I personally, I'd said it game. I thought Kitchen. I thought it were absolutely sensational last night. I thought all back three were Bobby Thomas. They were all they were all brilliant. They really were. Yeah. That save from his standing first day for that header, where mm. you know that header come across, it could have been to all. And he's put a full stretch and he's, he's pounded yeah. it away after that. Would after Mads had made the block, won it? And then he come back in. He yeah. made it, made a great save again. So yeah, can't really argue with it with Mads. But for me, unit game, I said I said Liam Kitchen, and that was before he scored his goal. Um, mm. So yeah, either Mads or, or or Kitchen for me. Good shout. Andy, uh, you know what? What it catching mad? So you know, so uh, yeah. some people have been saying, "Oh, it's a complete performance." You can't, but I, I, I've got about two or three uh, players in mind. Me, like, but yeah, yeah. I'll catch you, mate. No, I can't complain. Um, that man's got <laughs> mad at match. I thought he had a, a blinder, and um, no, uh, no problems with him get mad at match. I thought Norwood, well, I mean, we are sharp with his work rate and yeah. finish. Um, I thought midfield, our uh, midfield, I thought they put a shift in. Um, I thought Ken did all right before he got took off. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, back as well, kitchen. Um, plus a few more. Um, but no, um, it got a problem with Anderson gaining it uh, and captain as well. And he did what he had to do. Um, so no, I'll, I'll go along with that. Um, we Anderson. Yeah. Like I said, them three that I mentioned, I thought they were very, very close. Yeah, good, good, good shot by Pena. To be fair, I mean, I'm, I thought it was a good call uh, by uh, match sponsor Captain Mads. You know, man at match again, captain performance. You, you're looking for a leader, and, it, and that's what they were doing, organising the back, calming them down, and gearing them up when it when it needed to. So for me, but. I I kind of get where you're coming from with Liam Kitchen. Um, I thought he had a, a good game, you know, and capped off with a goal. I was also impressed as well with Herbie Kane because uh, I what I think I will keep an eye on Luke Connell. I know Luke Connell like Princeton about and getting involved in that. You know what you're going to get and trying to involve him back. But what I was seeing with Herbie Kane is that the amount of tackles we're trying to get in is running and work rate off at ball as well, trying to create space. And, and I'm thinking... Herbie Kane and Luke O'Connell, I think I said it before, are working so well together, them two, they're understanding one mm-hmm. another's game. If one's doing one job, other knows where to go and fill that. And when he came off, and, you know, as did Devante Cole, we got a standing ovation when we came off right edge of pitch, and rightly so, uh, like we did at end of pitch. But I'm going to go with, with Mads. It's an hard call, 
But I think basically because you want captain, it will catch performance. But like you said, we have a couple of honourable mentions here. I didn't even mention Norwood. You know, it could be mentioned Norwood. Ishted, like you said, pulled off a great save. So again, it's it's that situation in it for last what we've been in for the last couple of weeks. We're we're struggling to find a man at the match, but for the right reasons because there's that many putting the sends in frame, and yeah. it's pleasing to see uh, Revan and Eddie picking one out because there's that many decent good performances on pitch happening. So yeah, good good shout out, boys, for that. Uh, Ryan and Andy, appreciate you taking your time out and all the work and stuff and trying to fit in and that. Like get some rest and shut eye because we're probably adrenaline still, adrenaline still kicking in and still rushing about. Like right? so, <laughs> yeah. time to chill out and back. We haven't got a game on Saturday, so you can rest a bit easy, get built up for Tuesday game. So, uh, bit of bit of rest there. But yeah, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out and joining me. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your comments below. What captain uh, Mads your man at match? Of the others involved, what school prediction uh, were it better than what you spot, uh, expected? A few people commented like oh, it could be a draw, tight, but we did it. We got the double, we're an early fire drill, and we stopped the unbeaten 23 run and all. What more can you want for bragging rights? <laughs> right, boys and girls, one thing left to say you Reds. <laughs>